Studio One is an incredible DAW to make music, but like any other piece of software, understanding and learning keyboard shortcuts is what's going to enable you to drastically improve your workflow. Here are five of my favorites that I think you definitely should know. Okay, so jumping into Studio One here, the first thing I want to show you is how to very quickly duplicate tracks. Now, while you can always go over to a track here on the left, whether it's audio or MIDI, right click and then hit duplicate track or duplicate track complete, and we'll talk about the difference here in a second, my favorite way to do this is to use either the option or alt or command and control keys while you drag down. So here I have an audio track and let me show you. If I hold the command or control key and then drag down, I'm going to activate the duplicate track function. However, if I hold the option or alt key and then do the same thing, this time I'm going to activate the duplicate track complete function. So what is the difference? Well, you might have already seen, but when it comes to audio tracks, the duplicate track function is going to create another audio track with no audio events. Conversely, if you use the other one, the duplicate track complete, and you drag down, it's going to create a new audio track with all the events from the track you created it from. Now, when it comes to MIDI tracks, you only really have one option, and that is to use the duplicate tracks complete function. The reason being is that if you use the other one, the duplicate tracks, which again is command or control then drag down, you are going to create a separate track. However, that is going to be tied to the same instance of your BST. This poses a problem because if you wanted to use maybe the same virtual instrument with a new patch, maybe you're layering or whatever, because these two tracks are tied, if you make changes on one of them, it's going to make changes on the other. So that's not very useful. Conversely, if you use the other option, the complete option, which once again is option or alt then drag down, you are going to create a brand new instance of whatever virtual instrument you're using, giving you the most control. Now, the only caveat here is that like with audio, it is also going to duplicate any MIDI events. And of course, you could always just simply delete them after the track is duplicated, that's no problem. However, if you want an even faster way, then what you can do is download my free productivity toolbar, which I'll link down below. This is a free macro toolbar that I have built for Studio One with a bunch of production functions. And so if I click on this instance of Serum and I want to duplicate, so new instance, duplicate track complete, but without events, then I can just go over to the duplicate drop down menu, hit without events, and we are good to go. Okay, now that you know how to duplicate tracks, let's talk about how to duplicate events. Now in Studio One, the basic shortcut for duplicating events is going to be the letter D on your keyboard. So then if I were to click on an event here and then do D, it's just going to duplicate as many times as I press it. And you could also batch. So if I select these three, then press the D key, then I get chunks of three. Now in Studio One Pro 7, we were introduced to a new function here called, I believe it's just called the loop function. I'm not quite certain. <laughs> but basically if you hover over the bottom right of any audio or MIDI event, you're going to get this little like rewind symbol. And so you can just simply drag this out as long as you want to basically duplicate your events. Now from here, of course, you can still split these events, no problem, right? However, in the default state, it is going to be one big blob. And the cool thing is that if I open up the node editor, if I make any changes to one of the chunks, it's going to mirror that for the rest of the loop. So as you can see here, I just selected two notes in this chord, and then it's going to select them on the other portions. And if I were to delete them, then the same thing here, right? If I were to change this, it is going to make that change in all of them. So that's really, really awesome. Now, let's say that you're a fan of this mirroring function. However, you don't like the fact that it kind of consolidates everything together into one big event. Well, in that case, I would advise you to use what Studio One calls shared copies, I believe is the official name. And so what happens is that instead of just pressing the D key to duplicate, this time do Shift plus D and check out what happens. When you do this, your events will now have a little ghost icon on the bottom right indicating that they're now shared. What this ultimately means is that much like with the last function, the loop function, I can go in here and if I select any nodes or delete any nodes or move any nodes, it'll get mirrored to that new event. However, they're now independent of each other. So I can move the, the second one to wherever I want in my arrangement and still have control that way. Okay, that is it for duplicating. Now let's move on to time stretching. There will be times where you will need to time stretch a piece of audio. And so in Studio One, that is really, really easy. All you simply have to do is hold the Option or Alt key and then hover over the end of an audio event here. And you're gonna get this little clock symbol. And so from here, you can just simply drag out to stretch or drag in to compress. 
really, really simple. Here's the kicker though. This feature also works with MIDI. So check it out. Here I have a four chord progression that spans over the course of two measures. However, what if I wanted to squeeze these four chords into one measure? How do you do that? Well, same way. You go over to the end here, you hold the option or alt key, and then I drag back to fit all of these chords now into one measure. And as you probably guess, this works the other way around as well. If I wanted to say maybe fit it over four measures, then again, just stretch them out and everything gets stretched out in real time. Super handy. Okay, next up, let's talk about a feature that takes advantage of the fact that in Studio One, in most cases, audio edits like deleting or cutting are non-destructive. Here's what I mean. So here I have a piece of audio, and if I were to make a cut, say right here, and then delete the second portion, you might think that that piece is now gone forever. However, if I go ahead and drag from the end, I will begin to reveal the audio that I just deleted. Now, obviously this is useful for many, many reasons. However, there will be times where you don't want to necessarily extend the event to bring back that audio. You want to keep your portion that you already have selected and cut out, but you want that event to have a different part of the recording. Well, in that case, all you simply have to do once you sort of create the length of the event that you want is hold the command or control plus the option or alt. When you do that, you're going to get this little icon with two arrows pointing left and right. Finally, from here, all you simply have to do is drag either left or right to reveal and bring in a new piece of your recording. Okay, so let's finish this off with some zoom options. Now in Studio One, if you wanna zoom in, what is this, horizontally? <laughs> you're gonna hold the command or control key and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse. And as you can see here, our tracks become smaller or bigger. On the other hand, if you wanted to zoom in vertically, then this time hold the command or control plus the shift key, and now it's going to do this. The cool thing is that this vertical zooming will happen wherever you have your cursor. So if I have it set over here, it's going to zoom to that section. And if I have it set over here, it's going to zoom to that section. Now those two things are obviously really useful, but here's one more for you. If you hold the option or alt key, plus the shift key, you're going to get this little magnifying glass. This one's useful because sometimes you might want to only zoom into a portion of your arrangement. And so with this function, I can very easily just highlight a section, let's say here, and it zooms me right into that part. Once you're done making your edits to go back, all you simply have to do is once again, hold option or alt plus shift and then click anywhere. Super useful. But there you go, my friends, some of my favorite Studio One shortcuts. I promised you five, but I ended up giving you a little more. Now, shortcuts are not the only thing you have to get right. Settings are also really important. And so if you wanna see my personal recommendations for Studio One settings, then make sure to click this video right over here.